Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to customize your Ubuntu desktop. Now it is not just for Ubuntu, you can also do the same thing for any other known desktop in any other operating system. You just need to do a little bit of tweaking and all. So in the description I'll probably link uh, a one click install kind of uh, script which will help you in the installation of this uh, thing of this theme on your computer so yeah you can also check that out now let us continue with the video first we need to get a theme for that i will be using the dark g theme uh, gtk unfortunately we don't get that on google so let us search for dark g yeah this download 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 now head over to files we need to create a new folder here uh, first enable hidden files to be visible that is dot themes also we need to create dot icons icons yeah now first uh, open dot themes here we need to copy and paste this done now let us go and install gnome tweaks we also need to install conkey conkey all and there are certain dependencies for a uh, uh, theme with curl we need lua 5.4 we need J jq we also need mpd just in case let's continue with installation it's only 20.1 mb in size it will not take much time sit back it will install that is it done now you just need to open tweaks so head over and open tweaks and from here go to appearance select legacy application theme and select dark g and there you go it's using dark g so this basically looks like lib at uh, but a little bit of flair or color is given so nice one but wait uh, the theme looks a bit different here right yeah okay uh, let's use something different let's go for uh, lilac let's see how it works like that i guess sorry let's go for light teal this one head over to dot themes let me also install this select okay you need to restart reopen tweaks and from appearance you can select dark dark g light teal and let me see how it appears here yeah now it works so uh, you need to select a different color in order to show that up here uh, there's also lilac let's see which one works properly so let's also install the lilac edition dot themes lilac um, you can also uh, you can just select a theme from here we need to reopen tweaks tweaks so yeah this this one should look good yeah great now uh, for the fonts you can select a kind of uh, mono font for all the cases so this one is using ubuntu regular you can go for ubuntu mono regular and it changes the font of your entire system to something like this you can increase the font size a little bit if you want so you can choose like 50 uh, it's too much let's go for 13 13 or you can also go for 12 yeah 12 looks nice uh, for document text is sans regular it's fine and for the title windows um, let's use ubuntu mono bold this one yeah so it looks nice with the mono font now for the next case let us go and install the icon and for the icons, I'll be using Plague Sur icons. Now see, these are kind of inspired by macOS. If you don't like them, use a different kind of icon. Please don't, you don't need to be salty about anything. You're, you're literally on Linux, so you can do anything. Nobody's forcing you uh, anything, okay. Or you can say that the design will go with the current setup that we're going for. So that's why we are using. Anyway, uh, let's go to dot icons and copy and paste this this is around 117.3 mb uh, it will not take much time so just wait for a few seconds okay there's always an error that keeps on happening there this file mm, okay anyway whatever um, i don't think that will create any problem for applying the theme let's open tweaks head over to appearance select the icons to where is it did i lose it uh, yeah, yeah flakes are and there you go it has been applied now after this is done uh, you see these icons they change 
do something really stupid so that is a problem in plexer um, i don't know why that happens you can just enter into this place and uh, like select the icon theme there you have in actions i guess you will get get this uh, thing for changing but if you're fine with it you can go for that or um, yeah i guess uh, we can also go for any other kind of selection there anyway anyway it looks a bit weird but uh, in the end i will try to change that uh, over there anyway the installation is done now we need to go uh, to close box close box 73 on github now he has a really cool icon uh, uh, sorry a con key theme pack which you can go for there you get we're going to use this regular theme so head over to uh, just enter regular theme uh, and write con key you'll get the file link to the kde store from here you can definitely download the regular theme download download that's it now close this uh, open the files app now head over to um dot config okay here we need to create con key con key just for confirmation open this folder open the script that is there you can see the location it has been entered over here it is inside con key slash regulus so the regulus folder already has oops sorry get back here paste done now it's really easy okay don't close that uh, get back to dot config slash conkey regulus and right click open in terminal dot slash start dot sh and that should start the theme but you see uh, you don't have the fonts installed so it's it looks really bad so we'll just kill all conkey head over to font open this install head over to other stuff this one install head over to this install this install and for confirming we get back to dot local share fonts and as you can see they have all been installed so able feather okay i guess all of them has have been installed mm. let me just close this now let's restart the conkey and as you can see the th fonts have been applied properly now the background of the conkey looks really bad so for that reason we need to open the okay for that reason we need to open the um you know the configuration file folder and from here you can do one thing is that you can change this to true and save it now restart the concave and as you can see you get all those transparent options there now um, for this uh, the gap x and gap y the y should be also given a 20 amounts of gap that should look good let's restart the concave and okay a little more gap won't hurt so let's go for you know 25 should be good restart okay a little more i guess 40 40 should be good go for 40 restart the con concave and there you go it has the same amount of gaps in both the side so that is done now as you can see the city is set to some different location for changing the city you just need to go to uh, scripts from here go to weather dot sh and here you need to head over to this website this one open your chrome browser or any browser whichever you are using head over to this website and from here uh, you can search for your location so for me it is kolkata just search for kolkata go to whatever is your location and you see this one is your city id so you just need to copy that and get back to this place paste it save it now we just need to kill all conkey and restart the conkey doesn't work kill all conkey restart it again works as you can see it has been changed to kolkata and it's showing that it's having moderate rain which is true it's raining here now that's great now uh, for the Wi-Fi you need to do a bit of change it is according uh, to the uh, Wi-Fi device that you have you just need to go to github uh, go back to the page from where you downloaded I, I guess in github yeah head over to this place 
and you see if you go to the bottom part you will get this okay IP space link this is it now from here uh, if you get back to this place see number 3 WLP something is given so you just need to copy that so this is the thing that you need so accordingly you can change the um, network uh, interface according to the one that you have there are other things let me just show you those parts also so uh, okay one part of it is done now let's go to the other part so open uh, chrome let's go to gtk themes head over to this one and just search for advaita we just need oops not new mix advaita and here we will get this d advaita this is a shell theme just download that and if you don't like uh, the theme that i'm currently using the icon theme you can also go for this circular theme which they have used so let me see if i get any circular theme i guess that is a tela circle icons which they have used so you can definitely get that um we can go for the purple version since we are using the lilac edition of this theme just open this Control a open files head over to dot icons Where's dot icons dot icons just drag and drop them here and wait for the copying to complete now we need to open tweaks and from here head over to appearance and select the icon to tell our circle wow that looks really nice okay for the next step um we again need the files from here we need to go to downloads and here we have the tiered whiter oops sorry head over to home dot themes drag and drop it here that's it done now go to gnome shell extensions okay click the link to install the browser extension add to chrome add extension that's it done now we just need to refresh this page and i hope things so. oops doesn't work so if it doesn't work like this you just need to go here and install sudo apt install chrome gnome shell i guess yeah I, this is the file i mean package just re refresh this page and it should be all right that's it done now head of to user themes we need to enable this install done now get back to tweaks head over to appearance change this theme to let's see how dark g looks nice there's dark g lilac how does this look nice uh also we have a d advaita which we installed um unfortunately it, it becomes really inconsistent anyway you can go for the dark g lilac edition it looks much more consistent with the entire theming or you can also go for the one we downloaded for the use that is the d advaita but unfortunately it is out of sync i guess i thought it would be a better one so i downloaded that anyway let's use this uh, now you just you need to head over to settings again open settings okay now head over to appearance and don't change light or dark over here now it a weird problem happens that sometimes you need to change it if you find that there are some color differences that are happening there that these portions are all in light mode and the rest of them are in dark mode or vice versa whatever the whatever happens so you uh, don't change uh, you need to change that if you find these portions to be in light you just change the option to the dark one but if everything is fine don't touch this part if you touch that things might turn out to be wrong anyway um, choose the desktop icon we don't, don't need any desktop icons looks really messy uh, just move it to trash and turn off panel mode we get a very sweet dock over here if you want you can put the dock at the bottom of your screen like this looks nice you can decrease the icon size a little bit so it looks really clean that's it now we need a background for that we have pixels okay we need to do a little bit of change let's head over to settings okay auto hide dock that solved the problem pixels purple let's try this one okay let's try one by one downloads first let's try this it's nice um no so these are some choices there you can go for this or you can also go for this both of them equally look really nice so for the time being i'm keeping this one anyway that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe 
I'll catch you in the next one. I hope you liked this video.